What's going on, y'all? My name is Addison. Penny. It's your boy Chris. And this is 22 Candles. Um, oh, yeah. We are sponsored by our app, Candle Music, where it's all about the artists. We give users the opportunity to upload their music, live stream for everyone, build their community, chat, and select your streaming radius. So instead of just, you know, just every time you stream, you're just putting all your music out there. It is all willy nilly. Anyone can be listening to you anywhere. With Candle Music, you pretty much have the opportunity to make yourself really a local artist or global or right in the middle, you know, or what have you. All right. So, boom. There we go. That's pretty much the gist of Candle Music. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I think I made a LinkedIn and a LinkedIn as well. Hey. Candle underscore music. And um, also check out our spot fund. We're trying to raise $10,000, you know, for the app and lawyers and accountants and QuickBooks and all the other things and the cloud storage and Amazon, all that kind of stuff that comes with it. Right. So. There you go. Boom. Send us your check. Just one of them. Not all of them. Just one. And, um, yeah. Oh, spotfun.com slash candle music with a K. All right. So, boom. There we go. That was a weak entrance. I wasn't happy with that. Oh, well. Let's jump into it anyway. <laughs> yeah, one take. That's how we get. <laughs> so. Oh, you just pulled it up? Yeah. Zero dollars. Zero dollars. Zero donors. Get on it. Fuck yeah. with us. Yeah, come on. Step it up. And if you do watch this and you're like a, some sort of uh, fundraising strategist or something, help us out. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, give some niggas some suggestions or something. All right. So, boom. So, the topics for today. Yesterday was my birthday. Thanks, babe. Thanks, Chris. Mm -hmm. Gang, 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 gang. And Trevor said happy birthday to me. He's just not here right now. So, um, appreciate everyone who gave me some love. Told me happy birthday. And they were like, <laughs> um, Addison, you're old. So, yeah, I'm 26 now. <laughs> and my knee hurts really bad today. So, there we go. That's what happens when you turn 26. Your knees hurt. You're old as shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I remember when I was just 16 thinking I was old. Now I'm 26. And then when I'm 46, I'm like, dang, remember when I was 26 and I thought I was old? <laughs> I used to have both my legs. <laughs> it keeps going. I like shit. So. For real. Yeah, so yeah, I'm old now, and so Penny got me this cup, which is the greatest cup of all time. It's like one of those insulated Yeti ones where the ice stays in here for like five to six hours or what have you. And um, she got me a pellet gun and some a new speaker and some smell good for the shower. I got some shirts and stuff for my mom and got some Crocs. It, and I'm wearing hey. some sport mode. Uh, <laughs> nah, this is a leisure mode. Got some Crocs. My favorite color camo. Real camo too, not the army shit. I'm talking about that white backwood <laughs> blending in with actual trees camo. North Carolina. Yeah. Kakalaki. So, boom. That was my birthday. It was awesome. And roast beef from your dad. Oh yeah, and we had we went to dinner at McCormick's for my mom, and then we ate roast beef from my dad's. And um, yeah, very good. good. Very good birthday. Very happy. And um, and my coworker took me to lunch today, so that was cool. So um, anyways, topics for today. Good mm -hmm. doc. Yes. So let's jump into that. Chris, you sent the video, so please. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. Um, the Boondocks, everybody knows, is a classic. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it was the episode, I think it's, the episode is called The Story of Gangstalicious Part 2. And it was mm -hmm. when um, Riley was dressing up as like a chick. Mm -hmm. Like Gangstalicious was yeah. doing it, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> this is what all the thugs is doing. <laughs> so... I'm just thinking about that, and then like how, and that was like 2006 or 2004, yeah, and like, no, I don't, I don't know any rappers then that was wearing like dresses and shit. But 10 years later, like 2015 type shit, mm -hmm. Young Thug, Kid mm -hmm. Cudi, uh, Kanye with the skirt shit back when he was on that Kid shit. Kid Cudi just did a performance on a dress this yeah, year on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, that was like what a month or two ago. <clears throat> I was earlier, like January, February. Oh no, it might have been like no. March, April. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember we were at my dad's house when we were watching It was that. a remember sunflower that? dress. Yeah, we were at your dad's. It was supposed to be a tribute to Kurt Cobain, but regardless. <laughs> like, <laughs> but at that point, we were talking about, like, if is it, like, um, him trying to get back into the industry? And is it, like, you know, his way of passing to be, uh, to, like, humiliate himself yeah. pretty much in public? Just he, so he can get back in the industry. Emasculate himself. Because people listen to that song. What song was he singing? Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't understand a word he was saying. Because I was like, this nigga wearing a dress. <laughs> this nigga has a dress on. Like, I don't understand. 
<laughs> when you type in Kid Cudi, the Automatic. first thing that pops up is Kid Cudi dressed. Damn. <laughs> See, that's how you know this was like a human. It has to be some sort of humiliation thing because he's done so much stuff. When yeah. you when you like when you type in Kid Cudi, the first thing that should pop up is Pursuit of Happiness. Second thing that pops up should be Need for Speed. Third thing that pops uh, up, yeah. maybe the dress. Like, but as soon as you even type his name in, all you see is him all over every, the internet with the dress, dress. Mm-hmm. with like spaghetti That's strap. It. Not even just a regular dress, no a spaghetti strap. No one's talking about the song he sung. I don't even know what song he sung. Exactly. So. But yeah, man, I just thought it was funny, like how the Boondocks predicted that shit, and like lo and behold, <laughs> literally wearing dresses. Yeah, like, literally. And, oh, it was tequila <clears throat> shots. That's what it's called. Uh, it must have been off his new album, but I don't remember that song by yeah. the title. But so one thing, a couple of things I like about the Boondocks, all right, is that one, it's real, right? In a way that is it. When they depict black people, of course it's satirical, right? And it's satire, and they're dramatic, like Uncle Ruckus. But there really are Uncle Ruckuses in those in the world, like that mm-hmm. are black people that don't want to be black or think they're black. And they're calling niggas niggas and monkeys and all types of other <laughs> slurs. <laughs> like he was like, "Don't play that gorilla monkey music, booty music." I was like, "Dog, Uncle Ruckus is hilarious." And they always have that boom, ba, ba, da, ba. Like mm-hmm. when he's talking, <laughs> it's just hilarious. the trombones. Yeah, like. Um, but the thing is, like, the reality of it is, like, Boondocks. In this episode specifically, they were talking about how gangster rap in jail is like gay because it's. In jail, you know, there's, you know what I'm saying? They be with other guys, right? So they, it's cool with, with a song, we got that thug in love, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? And it was two niggas, like, mm-hmm. and they were trying to make it seem like thug shit. And then they were, um, do the homie. Yeah, homie over the hose. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, in the music video, they were like pushing females out the way and <laughs> bumping like... chest with their homies. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bo- it was like the water bottle. It was like him, like, it, I guess. It oh, yeah. Him, like, it was champagne. Yeah, and it was like he was spraying it all over, but he was spraying it from his yeah, crotch. Yeah. <laughs> he was just spraying it all over for the homies. Own guys. <laughs> like, Yo, that shit was so, wild. So the- Gang's delicious. <laughs> so the thing is like they knew what was going on aside from just wearing dresses and skirts because of rap people started wearing super tight pants like damn near leggings sagging them yes and you know where that came from jail yeah, and easy it meant, access yeah, it meant that you were ready you know what I'm saying to, for the <laughs> right like <laughs> and so they started wearing tight pants started sagging their pants um even nail polish became cool within the past what five years oh I'm, yeah mm-hmm. cool to who though like people like, who like Post Malone and oh yeah, like that emo rap yeah. and like yeah, yeah rock star just, shit. Just because you painted black and they have like one pink one, it's like. Yeah. I see a lot of people wearing like I see just on a daily basis. There's a lot of men that wear nail polish now, and they're saying, "Well, I haven't asked, but I mean, a lot of them from what I where was it the other day I was dropping, and it was a guy listening to dark emo music. It was really dark, but his fingernails were painted all black. I was like, okay, well. It's beyond me. It was loud and abrupt. Give me the mic. Anyways. <laughs> they even got man makeup, too. Like, it's a whole. Really? Yeah, man it's like this thing they're pushing out. Like, makeup for men. Like, it's, it's sus as fuck, bro. I could understand man makeup only because Egyptians wore makeup, but that was only for, like, ceremonial type. Yeah, nah, this is you for, like, everyday yeah, average like, Joe's. Putting on mascara and shit, bro. That's, yeah, like. What's it called? Condenser or uh um, oh, concealer. Yeah. Like yeah, I have a pimple uh, coming right here. I'm not concealing this for anybody. Like <laughs> I have a pimple on my face. I'm grown. It's like, a man would shit. you let me do your makeup? No. What uh, the hell? No. It was just a <laughs> You no, got the wrong not, one, Penny. Yeah, no. <laughs> barking up the wrong tree. That's yeah. weird for me. Not for anyone can make your own choices. You know, we're we're not gonna go down this. If the last time we went down this road, half our video got cut. Okay, <laughs> so like, I'm not gonna get into this. They edited the shit up. Yo, <laughs> our next our last podcast was like three minutes long <laughs> because we spent on the 29. Yeah, hey, that PR team <laughs> made the executive decision on the editing department. <laughs> this is offensive. <laughs> so, in tribute for all the gay people, since it's still June. Oh man, Y N C A. There you go. There's our tribute right there. Shout out to all my other gay homies. Okay. <laughs> so then, um, what do y'all think about the Soulja Boy and Bow Wow versus? When is that coming out? I don't even know. Soon. I know it's, yeah. Well, either way, Bow Wow's going to win. 
That's a damnable lie. Mm, what? Bow Wow does have. So me and my girl were talking about this. Bow Wow does have hits, but so for they're both corny. Boom. Yes. But you think Bow Wow's corny? Yeah, bro. But Bow Wow has really good but music. He has hits. He does have hits. If it was him versus Romeo, it would be him, no doubt. But yes. it's Soldier Fucking Boy. Exactly. Bow Wow's gonna win. <sighs> I don't Soulja know. Soldier Boy is not. It's just not. Soldier Boy got win. some. He got some. I'm telling you, Bow Wow has been how they doing do it. Because Bow- Soldier Boy produces beats though. Like he's made a lot of like like fire beats. But what are they gonna play during the verses? Right beats. beats? 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 I don't know what they do. I don't <laughs> know what they do. So at verses, they actually do like the actual songs that they produce and they actually and sung. features and like yeah. So I mean, they may do it like during those transitions and like play some of Soldier Boy's beats or whatever. But Bow Wow, no doubt, has Soldier Boy beat. I mean, Pretty Boy Swag and Donk were pretty good songs. Turn my swag on. My Whatever. Swag on, yeah. What? Whatever. Kiss me through, but, the, kiss me through the phone. Exactly. Okay. Soldier Girl. But Shorty Bird Like walk. Mine. Come on. Oh, so that's Ryan Cranks. Shorty you Like Ryan Cranks. Exactly. Bow Wow is really dope. Bro, that was my song. I'm not going to That was my song. Fresh as I'm is. Bow Wow has some Let me really hold you. good songs. Shorty like mine. <laughs> what was his other one? He went here. The way you move so slow. Slow. Across the foot. The way you Take run through my hand. Yeah, run through my hand. Yeah. Home. Take you home. Oh, my God. I might have to watch this verse this whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bow Wow basketball. is going, Exactly. Bow Wow is going to tear. Remember he was in uh, Soulja Boy like pieces. Mike. Yeah. Like oh, was, Bow Wow is definitely a better, like, businessman. Well... He's, he's, a better he's artist. more developed as like an yeah, artist, yeah. musically, visually. Younger. Yeah, mad younger, younger. Mm-hmm. mad younger. And Soldier Boy started everything himself by himself. Everything. He was the first <laughs> one to build the pyramids. So he, like, he and plus, Bow Wow is thirty four. Soldier Boy he's is older thirty. Yeah, so he's yeah. older by four years. But I mean, mm-hmm. his music is still better. Soldier Boy's no. Oh, Bow Wow. Oh, sorry. I agree. Okay. But I mean, but the thing is, Soldier Boy had dances to his songs. Bow Wow didn't have dances to his songs. And? Except for... <laughs> that was the only thing, and we didn't find that out until, like, this, this year. And? <laughs> the thing is, when, when you have dances, right, that makes a party, that turns a party up. Right, so, like, hypothetically, not even hypothetically, in eighth grade, Superman, now watch me, you, the whole mm-hmm. crowd would... You! Mm-hmm. You! You! <laughs> like, back and forth. People would get trampled and stepped on. But when Bow Wow came on, it's just like, so okay, pretty yeah. much, I think of it as this. Soulja Boy had a lot of twerk music. A lot of booty clapping, doing all of this other mess. Booty clapping? I mean, he had Donk. Kiss me through the phone? Is donk, he had booty meat. Yeah, that was <laughs> Booty <laughs> meat. That booty meat. That's what Anywho, she make it clap. Oh, yeah, that's a new joint he she got. That shit going on, because everybody on TikTok loves so, that joint. So that mm-hmm. shit, yeah. Mm-hmm. She make it clap. Uh, oh, and yeah, in reference yeah, yeah. to last uh-huh. week's um, pod, yes, I did see a Meg The Stallion TikTok. Oh, shit. Oh, the new one? The the, song? Yep. That shit? It's a yep. dance to it and everything? I don't think it's a dance. It was just like a random song that was playing. Tell me, tell me, man, man, that shit. <laughs> Anywho, so Bow Wow, man, man, that shit. like you, shorty like mine, out of my system, let me hold you, girlfriend, mm-hmm. ain't thinking about you, fresh as, fresh as, my, ah, fresh as I'm fresh is. Fresh as I'm <laughs> Goddamn. I mean, if it wasn't broken English, you'd probably be able to say it <laughs> I'm a flirt. Bounce oh with me. Oh my gosh, I'm a flirt, bro. Come what on, out of my Kelly? system? No, it was a different I'm a flirt. Yeah. I'm about to say, what the fuck? Let me turn it down. I don't like references. Can you fast forward to the middle of it? Yeah. Yeah. That was oh, like, wow. It was on a remix? Yeah, it was on a remix? That's the original. The original song had Bow on it. Mm hmm. Oh shit! The remix had um Usher, right? No, T Pain. No, that's uh, that's same no. girl. No, that's T Pain. Uh, Teddy Pain. No, mm-hmm. I ain't. Pole in my basement da, da, was a good one. With a stripper dog. Yeah, that was T Pain. But I mean, he has a song with Soldier Boy. They have an album together, I think. Don't Soulja they? Soldier Boy and Bow Wow. I thought they I did. No, so. that was Soldier. That was Bow Wow and Tiger. No. No, Bow Wow and Omarion have an album together. No, fan That's of a fan. Song. Who is that? Fan of a fan. That's Chris Brown and Tiger. Never mind. Mm. Never mind. Okay, so they have an album <laughs> called Ignorant <laughs> Shit. That's what it's called. Soldier Boy, tell them. And the only popular song on that album is Soldier Got Me Lena. Soldier had a. 
He dropped a new song that we couldn't understand a word they were saying. Soldier Boy. It was called Mad. I did not. Remember the video we watched? And we were like, I don't know what he's saying. Soldier Boy dropped it two days ago. <laughs> oh, Marco Polo, Bow Bow. Bow Bow is going to destroy this versus. I'm sorry. But the thing is, he's not going to play all of his old hits because the, oh. thing, the thing I've noticed about some of these verses is that they. They promote. And Gucci Bandana, oh, Soldier Boy. Yeah, that yeah. Just, like I'm saying, Soldier has low key joints. Like They're bangers. Low key. No, but it's not even low key. It's they made that to a go go song. Yeah. <laughs> Gucci, not Gucci Bandana. Wow, Gucci, Gucci Bandana. You don't hear no Bow Wow. I'm going to listen version. to Shorty Like Mine before Gucci Bandana. Yeah, but if Gucci Bandana comes on, are you going to turn? Yeah. <laughs> and the Shorty Like Mine no. next? No. Uh, You're going to be like, I'll wait three minutes. Nah. Sorry. Like. No. There's no Damn. Bow Wow go go version of any Bow Wow song. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> you gotta watch it. You've never heard that. Like. But who's to say that that can't happen? It's not about if it happened or not. Go, nah. go, no one makes no one's making go go like that no more. Either way, Bow Wow Bow Wow's gonna win. I'm sorry. Does anybody ever win these? Right? Isn't it for the oh, culture? Yeah, it's for the culture. Hmm. Well, but we we can better. keep our own personal track and see. We can see. We'll just watch it. Yeah, Pretty Boy Swag. Well, I mean, it's a good matchup, though, because yeah. they're both in the same genre type. Mm-hmm. They're both in the same age group demographic. They both have bangers. They're both young. Everyone likes both of them. Shad Moss. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I get Bow Wow from you. So, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. What's Shoulder Boy's real name? Let's see. Something stupid. All right, Marquise. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier Boy's real oh, name is, is DeAndre yeah. Cortez Way. Cause that's why he's like Draco, nigga. I am Draco. Uh, Draco. Yeah. <laughs> he did that on uh, with Charlemagne. Oh, he was like, God. "Oh my God, this nigga's the real Draco." Yeah. The whole time. This is a clown. Is it DeAndre he's, Cortez, he's cool, Draco. Like. He's not. What What happened a couple <laughs> of years ago with uh, Soldier Boy? I don't know. Uh, I mean, but it was something. No, it was something that him. happened that everybody like slandered Soja Boy's name because he was making a place uh, a game system and niggas still ain't get it yet. <laughs> <laughs> that shit still <laughs> in hell delivery. Hell, of niggas paid. And they but people buy Bow Wow's cologne. I didn't even know he had he has cologne. Durags too. Mm-hmm. You go into the hair store. It's you Bow see Bow Wow's face on it. <laughs> yeah, you got do rags. Hey, businessman, support it. That's what I'm saying. What's his cologne called? His cologne. Bow <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, no. He had a. Uh, What's it called? Dog he didn't have one. He what? had a cologne. I remember the commercial for it. He was sponsoring and everything, but this ain't it. It's called Wow. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not that's by not him, it. though. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Aww. Remember well, yeah, no, he did have bounce? a cologne at one point. What movie was Soldier Boy in? Exactly. Bow Wow, Roll well, Bounce. Let's see. Roll Bounce was fire. That was my movie. This nigga. We actually just went to the roller skating rink last week. Last weekend. Seventy percent of the people there had their own skates. Thirty percent of us had rented skates. Mm-hmm. So seventy percent of the people who were roll bouncing. Well, that one was were in Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. Yes, he was. Like Mike, yes. Medea's oh, yeah. Big yeah. Happy Family. Yeah. Yeah. Roll Bounce, Furious Seven, it. The Family yeah. Tree, All About the Benjamins. Johnson's Family Vacation, mm-hmm. Lottery Ticket, mm-hmm. Scary Movie, Allegiance, Entourage, Scary movie five. Hurricane Season. That was a good movie. And Carmen. Carmen. Oh. That was actually a legit good actor. No, he's no, he was he's an artist. Oh, yeah. um, and apparently Beyonce was in that movie Carmen. Oh, it was a musical. Oh. What's it called? Carmen. Carmen, a uh, hip hop. Yeah. Uh. Hip hop. Hip hop. How, how do you know that? <laughs> Nah, you're out of here. <laughs> you're ejected from the game. <laughs> you just claimed the beehive. Get out of here. Ain't no honey around this Sorry, game. Jackie. I gotta gotta go away from that one. I'm not a part of the beehive fan. I like her music, but I don't I don't agree with her as a person and her antics and or and whatever. I just don't I don't agree with that whole shindig. You talking about the conspiracy theories behind her? Hmm. I I, well, I, I just don't think that she's a a good person. And some, it's just something about her that just rubs off on me differently. Yes, her music is good, and it's it's fire. Like she has great promotion ads. Like everything that she's done since she was a child is amazing. But does that make you a good person? 
I don't know the acting if she's a good person. But I mean that goes that can give her a good, mm. a good reason as to why you don't like her because you don't think she's a good person. Based off of something she might have done. But <clears throat> Conspiracy theory time. Is she a part of the Illuminati? <laughs> Who's I think to so. say? I think so. Who is to say? Oh, I forgot to do something with it. What? Nothing. I'll do it next time. Uh oh. So yeah. Um Oh well. Who said it? There was someone who's trending all over the internet right now. One of the old rappers who said Beyonce can't sing for shit. Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy. Yeah. Do y'all agree with her? Do y'all agree with him saying that Beyonce can't sing? Or she's not a good she singer? Can sing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a, a singer per se, but I think she could sing. Based off what my girl be saying. Yeah. She can sing. But can she sing currently? I don't think so. Still? I think it's more auto tune than anything. You're like... part of the Beehive. I'm sorry. You don't count because <laughs> you're naturally a fan. I'm neutral. I feel like Chris is new. Chris, are you neutral? I think she could sing. Get out I mean, of I, I now, think she has. Currently, to this day, like, think she can sing now. I don't, I don't know if I listen to her enough to say if she could sing now. I haven't heard her live like recently, you know. Mm. I'll be giving a bad live. take. So. I don't think. Coach Beach Ella. Oh. When was that? <laughs> Homecoming? Oh, yeah, when she was, uh, did the. Burp. Bam, 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 and had the HBCU oh, bands. before I let go. That was, oh, that was Coachella. Oh, but that was. Do that. You too, said she sung it too hard. Yeah. Because her voice. That was 2018. It's aggressive. It is, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Her yeah. voice is aggressive. Step on him, step on him, step on him, step. <laughs> it's like, damn, bitch. Like, back up. I can smell your breath through the speakers. <laughs> like, but it's the dance moves that she was doing with it that made the, the sound even more harder. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, she's aggressive, bro. Yeah. I feel like she like I don't know. But then she made the remake with Meg The Stallion, which was a uh, Savage remix, which was trash. Her part just it was just like yeah, I hate when she tries to rap. She can't. It was awful. She can't do that. They should have left Meg The Stallion's uh, Savage was a great song. I loved it at first, but then once Beyonce got on and they start playing on the radio, I was like, I can't do this no more. I'm like, good. I'm a Savage. Ah. <laughs> Classy, ah, ah. boozy, ratchet. Ah. <laughs> I'm like Beyonce, please. Like I get it. You're from Houston. She's from Houston. Y'all are Texan babies. But they did great with the proceeds. Like they did give back to the community with it? the proceeds. I mean, they said they were, but did they? I mean, who's to say? Yeah, you're right. Google said it. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. anywho, <laughs> that you don't officially that you don't do anything with that song. Oh no, me and me and the 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 Umadi are gang gang gang. Okay, I did okay. my sacrifice already. He's lying. Where do you think my other dogs went? It's like no. <laughs> <laughs> anywho, but um, yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm hit or miss with Beyonce. I've never really been a fan. But, you know, Destiny's Child was good, right? I liked Destiny's Child when she was younger and all that kind of jazz. And, I mean, I guess she can sing because she's a singer and she's not using auto-tune or anything. But, um... I think she's just a legend. Exactly. Like, yeah, it's not It's is. not because she's amazing and this is... She's not like the J. Cole, the J. Cole singing. She's just... She's a legend. Mm-hmm. She's like... People listen to Jay-Z because he's a legend and he puts some music out. So, when Beyonce puts music out, they're going to listen. Same thing. Mm-hmm. So, Only because yeah. she's been in the game long enough. She's been doing things <clears throat> with her music for many, many, many years. So, I mean, hey. Oh, well. Look, as long as they're rich, black, more power to them. All right. So. Mm-mm-mm. Where are we at with time? 25. Oh, wow. That's decent. Yeah, we in mm-hmm. and out of here, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Any last topics anybody wants to talk about? No, well, that's it. Ah. Uh-huh. All right. Well, look, <clears throat> again, yesterday was my birthday, June 22nd. I turned 26. If you really do care about me or watch this podcast, um, donate to Spot Fun for my birthday present. Okay. Again, $10,000. We don't have any donations. I've been talking about this for like 46 episodes, dog. So I'm going to need you to. <laughs> All right. Like S P O T F U N D slash K A N D L E M U S I C. In Link the fact in the that description. I, that's what I'm saying. In the fact that I'm able to sit here and spell like that, I can't spell for shit. All right. So the <laughs> fact that I'm sitting here spelling for y'all niggas on camera in front of my friends with confidence, I think I deserve at least ten bucks. So there we go. All right. So um, 
thank you guys for watching. This is 22 Candles, and uh, catch you on the next one. Peace. We out.